What's up guys? This is Brent with Western Equipment. Now let's jump right on in and start talking about our 6E series John Deere tractors, what all models there are and what the differences are and the similarities between the models in that series. So in the 6E series, what we're gonna have are three models. You are gonna have the 6105E, the 6120E like we have here and the 6135E as well. Now, the main difference between these three models is going to be the engine horsepower and the engine horsepower is going to be indicated by the middle three digits of that model number so the 105 is going to be 105 horsepower the 120 is going to be 120 horsepower and the 135 is going to be 135 horsepower at the engine now the other difference is, is that whenever we have different engine horsepowers we are also going to have different horsepowers at the pto so on the 6105 you are going to have 89 horsepower at the pto on the 120 you are going to have 102 horsepower at the pto and on the 135 you are going to have 115 horsepower at the PTO. Now, the one thing about the 6E series is that it is going to be your introductory tractor into the large ag or right above the utility tractors right there on the fringe of large ag or a lot of times we use these as large utility and hay tractors. So if you are in that market where you're running a few hundred acres, maybe you have a few hundred head of cows and you're going to be doing a hay operation, the 6Es is really where you want to start at whenever you are looking for a machine for your operation. Reason being is, is that you are going to have enough horsepower to run such things as a pull behind swather, a round baler, all those different operations that you're going to need to use for a hay operation and then also of course you are going to be able to put a front end loader on these machines so if you're needing to do such things as load that hay move hay do those small projects or whatever other functions with the front end loader you're going to have that option as well now when we're talking specifically about the engine like we said the main difference here in these machines are going to be the three different horsepower ranges but you're also going to have two different engines that are going to come in these machines so on the 105 and the 120 you are going to have the exact same engine just tuned a little bit differently to get those different horsepower ranges and then once you get into that 135 it is going to be a different john deere engine all three are going to be john deere all three are going to be final tier four emissions and all three are going to be a four cylinder machine so the only difference there is once you get to the 135 a little bit different engine so what you might see is a little bit different setup whenever you go to service this tractor now one of the main differences is also whenever we get up into that 135 you are going to lose some of the options so with a 105 and a 120 we can not only have the mfwd model that we can see see here by having these large front tires here and having that front wheel assist you also are are going to have a two-wheel drive option in the 105 and the 120 meaning that you're only going to have the driving wheels at the rear so you are going to get the smaller front wheels and tires on that 105 and 120 if you choose that two-wheel drive option and also with that two-wheel drive option you are going to get an open station rather than a cab now once we get up to the 135 you are only going to be able to get the mfwd and the cab option now another thing to keep in mind on all three of these machines is that since you are over that 75 horsepower range you are going to require def on these machines so on each one you will see a def tank right there below your fuel tank and then also everything on the outside is going to look basically the same and you will have the option here on your rear, rear wheels to add these rear wheel weights they are going to be a flange style wheel so these machines are not going to be set up to have a bar style axle that is going to go out to where you can widen this stance with the bar style axle or add duels. You are gonna be limited to that flange style rear wheel, meaning that you are gonna only be able to have singles on these 6E series tractors. Now, once we move to the rear of the machine, once again, all three models of these are going to be identical back here at the rear with some options. So what you're going to have is you are going to have, for one on your three point hitch, it is going to be a category two that is going to have a lift capacity of 5,500 pounds 
console, or you have the option of moving up to the heavy duty category two hitch that's going to have a capa lifting capacity of 7,300 pounds. So keep that in mind if you're looking into these six E's that you do have an option here at your three point hitch. You're also gonna come standard on these machines with two sets of hydraulic couplers here at the rear with an option for the third. This one here is going to have a third coupler on it. So you do have the option there of having three different outlets here at the rear for running those rear attachments and rear implements. So you have the option of three if you have a three function machine here at the rear. As far as your PTO goes, you are gonna have that switchable PTO going from a 540 to a 1000. So you have that option to give you some versatility on the types of implements that you're going to be using. And then of course you are gonna come standard with a draw bar here. So if you have those different implements that you need to pull with a draw bar, you are gonna have that as well. Now moving over here to the right hand side, of course, if you have a cab on this machine, you do have the right hand door that you can utilize. This is going to be a standard feature on all cab machines. Now, like I said, keep in mind on the 6105 or the 6120, you could get this in an open station two wheel drive machine. But if you go standard with the cab, the right hand door is something that you're going to get. Also, I talked about before that you could add a loader to this machine. So if you add a loader, you can order it from the factory loader ready, meaning that you're already going to have your loader brackets and your hydraulics. So you are at least going to have your two function hydraulics, one for the raise and lower and one for the dump and curl of the bucket. But you're also going to have the option of adding a third function to your hydraulics in case you need that third function out front to run such things as a grapple bucket, making this machine just even more versatile, especially if we're talking about using this in that hay application. Maybe we're going to need to use a bale hugger there at the front to pick up those bales. Maybe we're going to use this for a brush grapple out front. Nice thing is, is that you do have that option of adding that third function to your machine. Now, when we're talking about the cab of these machines, this is going to be an E-series machine. So just like a lot of other John Deere models, whenever you are talking about that last letter there, that is going to indicate the trim level of that machine. So E being the economy base, M being kind of your middle class, and then R being your high spec model. On these six E's, they are going to be a very basic cab. The real only upgrade that you're going to have in these cabs is going to be the option of an air ride seat. So you can get either a manual adjusted seat or you can get an air ride seat in these machines. And then the other one is, is you can opt into getting the loader panorama roof to where it is open there at the top where you can see raising your loader up. Other than that, everything is going to be pretty standard in this machine. You're going to have your LCD display right in front, in front of the steering wheel. You're going to have your controls over to the right, but you are going to have the option of three different transmissions. No matter if you are talking the 6105 or the 6135, you are going to have those three different options. All three are going to be power reverser options, but you are either you're going to have a 1212 or a 1212 with a creeper, or you could have a 2412. So if you are not real familiar with what that means in these machines or even how a power reverser functions, I actually have a video going over on a five series just exactly how a power reverser transmission works. So I'll make sure to drop that down in the description below so that you can get a little bit more familiar as that is going to be exactly how one of these machines drives as well. Other than that, guys, that is pretty much everything everything you need to know about the 6E series. And if you are looking into one of these machines, I would highly suggest going in, talking to your local John Deere dealer, seeing what types of incentives are out there, what kind of discounts you can get so that you get the best price for yourself. Also, whenever you are talking about price, make sure that you're asking about that warranty. See if there's any extended warranty you can get added to that machine, if that's something that you're interested in to make sure you're protected going down the road. But guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, we just asked you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, if you are looking for more videos like this or just more videos over John Deere equipment in general, make sure to check out the rest of the channel. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.